Hello and welcome friends once again. My name is Gerald here with Innovate Church in Kannapolis, North Carolina. Coming at you through YouTube, Facebook, whatever it is you're catching up with us next door, wherever. We're just glad that you're here with us as we do our daily psalm reading. If this is your first time. This is what we've been doing for weeks now. And if it's your 91st time, welcome. Tonight's going to be one of the best ones we have. It is Psalm 91, which is one of my absolute favorites of all the psalms. So thank you for joining us. And as always, my hope and prayer is just that you are blessed and encouraged by the reading of God's word together. Again, at Psalm 91, it is entitled, My Refuge and My Fortress. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the error that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will look, only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. So friends, is that not one of the most encouraging psalms ever? I hope it is to you. You know, I don't know where your faith is. This psalm encourages us. It is telling us how God is here for us. How he protects us. He sends his angels to guard us. I was reading a minute ago on this psalm. And, you know, we won't know until we get to heaven or until we get to the afterlife to know just how many times the angels have protected us. I don't know about you. I don't know what you think about angels, how much you think about them. I'll be honest. I don't tend to give them a lot of thought. and I hate that, but I am thankful that God sends them to protect us, to watch out after us. You know, Satan is always trying to attack us in whatever way. One of his best attacks is through discouragement. You can sit here and read this psalm and say, well, I have had evil done to me. I have had bad things done to me. Now, that doesn't make this psalm false. It's just the fact that we live in a fallen world. We live around bad people. We live around a world that is cursed because of the fall. You know, one day all things will be restored and made new. But no matter what it is that comes against you, trust that God's plan will be worked out. For those of us that follow him and that trust in him, he does indeed have good plan for us. That doesn't mean that nothing bad will happen on this side of eternity. But it means that he will turn whatever it is into good, into glory for him. And friends, I don't know about you. I don't know what kind of troubles you've had in your past or what things God has brought you through. But I don't doubt that you can't look back and see some kind of terrible something in your life and see how God brought you through it. How he may have even protected you through further bad things because of that happening to you. you know, maybe that's the way the angels had worked for you as well. Friends, whatever it is, you can read this psalm ten times and be encouraged a hundred times by it. It's one of the best, I do believe. And I pray, as always, that it's been an encouragement to you. And if so, 
would you take the time to send it to someone else, to pass it on, share it through whatever social platform it is you catch us on, so that they too can be can be blessed and encouraged as well? Friends, I pray that you have a blessed evening, and we'll see you again tomorrow when we read Psalm 92. Have a wonderful evening.